morning, everybody. J&A Review, and today we are Triple HRV here in Haleyville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us that thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 Salem Hemisphere, model number 325RL, and that is by Forest River. So let's get started. The length on this Salem, I don't know, it's 37 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 10,594, and that hitch weight is 2,085. All right. Yes, this is one that we're going to recommend that you have a um, pretty good size truck for. It is a little bit heavy and a little bit long. So, starting up here at the front, your batteries are going to go up here. Your spare is mounted in here. You do have a light out here to so yes. help when you hook up in the dark. And we've got our worker moving some trailers around so and, and, and I don't want to get run over so I'm gonna stay out of his way all right coming right on down this side up front is gonna be your two 30 pound propane tanks and you have nice big storage here your leveling is gonna be mounted right inside and your connections are gonna be over here do have uh, outside shower and your satellite cable hookups are going to be in here. Alright. Now this one is going to have a uh, four point leveling on it. Uh, of course here's the back of your water heater. Your dump area right there. Come on down. Show you the side. Love the new squared off windows. You know, the Salem Hemispheres are really nice fifth wheels. They're very pretty. I do like their um, color choices. Here at the back, you've got a ladder to access your roof, and you are prepped for a backup camera. You do have a receiver hitch down here, but it is not set up for towing, so this is going to be an accessory rack if you want to add uh, bicycles or a kayak carrier over here on your campsite you do have two power awnings led light strips on both of those now i looked up the awning length they only gave me one it was 11 <laughs> 6 but they didn't say nothing about the other one they look very close to the yeah, same that's what i say uh so yes when you get your awnings out you're going to have a shade on your entire, entire campsite, campsite yeah. Yeah. absolutely wonderful uh Love that this one does say that it is has the Goodyear tires. That's always a great thing. Here is the other side of your pass-through storage. And your solar controller is in here along with your battery disconnect. Uh, you got a propane quick, net, quick connect under there. And I think that's got everything on the outside. So let's go in All and right, take a look. Before we go in, let me give a shout out to our Full Circle Partnership. Uh, to see all those channels that we are uh, very fortunate to be with, uh, go to our, our YouTube homepage, scroll all the way down, and you can see those channels. And also, let me give a shout out to one of them, Life Redesign. That's Bob and Carrie. I don't know, <laughs> did, should we say anything about Steve? Uh, no, let's leave Steve out of this conversation. Okay, we'll leave Steve out. Thank you, Bob. We will <laughs> leave him out. But uh, yeah, follow Bob and Carrie. Uh, they travel full time. Bob still works. They're out of the uh, travel trailer, and uh, they are just a hoot to be around. So, <laughs> check those guys out. Yes, definitely check them out. All right. Hey, let's go look at the Salem Hemisphere. All right. Here oh, we wow. are. Uh, yes, traditional, rear living. Um, anybody who's watched this for any length of time knows this is my favorite floor plan uh, but this one is done just a tiny bit differently let's start back here at the back with this super tall storage wow yes all the way across you have six oh count them six doors across the back for storage wow there's your uh one of your ac units and you will see that this does have a ceiling fan in here mm. Mm -hmm. uh these windows i 
love, love these, these windows. windows and I love the shade system that they put in them. They're yeah. accordion, but then you can just push them wherever. Now, when we walked in, every one of them were shut. They so. were all closed and it cuts out an amazing amount of light. It was, if you, if you like it to be dark, it these will shades dark. will definitely do it. And I think these are kind of new. I haven't seen the little I don't remember seeing here. reading lights in the That's hemisphere, so um, that could be a new touch. I do like it. You're going to have a trifold sofa right here at the back. Very good size end tables on both sides. Power and, and USB. Both in on each side? Yes, you do. We've got some great places there to stash some stuff. Yes, now, this is why I said they do their uh, rear living a little bit differently. So instead of giving you a theater seat, you have two recliners. They rock, they swivel, yes. and then you get reclined. So they're going to be a pushback recliner. So I like that a lot. <laughs> Uh, again, these big windows across your campsite. I just love the squared ones. Your table and chairs over here. Uh, your table doesn't have a leg in the middle, so you're not going to knock your knees up while you're trying to eat dinner. All right. Sitting here in one of these wonderful recliners. Oh, I know you're thinking, well, something's missing with this entertainment center. You'll see. Got storage up there across the top. Great window that opens. Another one of those wonderful pleated shades. Furion sound bar. And a shiny fireplace down here. I like these shiny fireplaces. And that's the fastest moving elevator I have ever seen. Yeah, that is actual time. We did not speed that wow, up. That's cool. So that is a very fast elevator. Okay, I like that. I do like that. And that is solid surface countertop around it. So, oh, and, there and, it goes. and there it goes right back down. And that's what I like about it. When you, <laughs> when you don't need it, you kind of went It's out of the way. Yeah, so you, you have counter space way. and a great window. All right. Great. Uh, point out real quick, your heating is going to be in the cabinetry there. Um, it's your island, solid surface countertops. You've got an uh, extension here at the end of it. Yeah, let me just show you. There yeah, so wonderful, wonderful use of extra space. You do have a power outlet there on the outside of it. Uh, really cool accent lighting. Uh, moving into, you made me get out of that really comfortable recliner. Um, there goes our tow motor guy. Uh, <laughs> three drawers down here. Uh, Three burner cooktop with an oven. I really wish they could put the bigger oven in here, but this is still yeah. cool because they give you a matching drawer. Yeah. Got a storage right next to that. Uh, the window above the stove opens. A lot of times you don't see that. Sometimes you just have the the window just just for light. And it's got a shade off. And it has the shade. A lot of them um, have a shade. Mm -mm. So you've got a um, little bit smaller microwave in this one, but it's still hey, it'll get the job done. Yeah. You've got storage on both sides of that. Um, some more about this wonderful, this is a big, big island area. Uh, great big sink, pull down faucet. Oh, wow. Yeah, good storage underneath. Two areas here and then, then all this open area under your sink. Plenty of room for a garbage can. Uh, flush slide in here so you won't yes. hit your toes while you're cooking your eggs in the morning. I'm going to have a side-by-side -side residential fridge in here. That's nice. It is nice. You have a wine rack up above it. Um, we don't drink wine. And surprisingly enough, guys, I have given up my Diet Mountain Dews. And so, she has been very good to live with. As long as I still have sweet tea. Or business. as long as I don't call you my assistant anymore. Don't call me your assistant. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, pantry over here with... <laughs> Yeah, you guys will have to see that video sometime. Well, it should be out by the time we do this one. Yeah. Um, great pantry area. It's got a motion light in it, and it's open all the way down. So if you need to put uh, brooms or mops or mm -hmm. a little stick vacuum in there, you'll have plenty of room. That's nice. Your coffee area is super nice. I love these doors with the glass inserts. You've got power and USB right down here. This is also solid surface. And I wish you 
I don't think it'll show up on the camera, but there's just a tiny bit of sparkle yeah, in this. Flakes. And it's really, really nice. Two drawers down here, another storage area, and then your fuse panel. It's gonna be right there. All right. Cool. You've got the floating steps in here. I'm floating right on. Your control panel is gonna be as you go up the stairs. Big window over here. I really like that, and it has another one of those awesome pull down shades. I just love it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the hemisphere has got a little bit of a barreled type ceiling. Um, so that gives you some extra space in here along Very with that nice. skylight. So Jeremy's six feet tall. Oh, that's nice. Great space in here. Linen closet. You actually have three separate doors. I like that. I like that. Ours, you have one big door mm -hmm. and three spaces. And but, then you have to stick your arm halfway in there to get stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, now these are still deep, yeah. but I do like that they give you separate doors. Yeah. You've got some hooks up here to dry your towels on. Oh. Oh, foot flush toilet down here. Lots and lots of leg room in front of it. Let me fix my hair in the mirror. <laughs> mirror and medicine cabinet over here. Um, great sink area. This one is not solid surface in here. Um, but I don't know what this is. It's well, not this for is, Micah. This, this that wrap finish, Maybe it is but, for Micah. Yeah. But it's, it's real well, really, really well done. I, I like this faucet. Some people don't like the two-tone. Oh, Tell us neat. what you think. I think it looks cool. Of course, my high school colors were black and gold. So there we go. Down below the sink, you got some still, uh, storage area. Um, I love that they give you these little baskets in here. It's mm -hmm. great for um, extra toilet paper or anything like that. Yep. And two. Here we go. Main bedroom. This is going to have a king size bed on a slide, and this is a Versa tilt. Yes. So it will tilt up. Uh, let's see. The control for it is over mm -hmm. here. Okay. Yeah. Shelves up above it. You've got a light on both sides. I actually think the covers may be missing on these. We'll have to find them. I know they're here somewhere. Um, Oh, I just now noticed them. But see, uh, I think this shot, you can kind of see how the bar how the ceiling is slightly barreled. You've got a second AC in the bedroom. Down here at the foot of the bed, you're going to have three drawer dresser. Now, don't tell nobody. But you have secret storage. It's a secret. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, if they wouldn't put a sticker on there, nobody would know. <laughs> Um, so your TV is going to mount up here. There's your connections are already there. Nice big window back here. Oh, yeah. Again, those wonderful shades. You have a little seat down here so you can put your shoes on. Um, oh, 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 let's, let's back up so I can show you this whole closet area. Mm -hmm. You got hanging on this side. It is prepped for a washer and dryer. Um, I believe this yeah, should be stackable washer oh, and dryer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you can just use it as a regular closet. Well, You've got I the bar up there. You just oh. get over there and just well, look I through can. It. Um, yeah, there ain't no sense in opening it. Well, okay. look at you step up in yes, here. Yes, I, I am standing in the, in the shower. I am standing in the closet. Wow. So you got these great shelves here. If you like to fold things or put your shoes in there. Um, yeah, so you have a light. You have a bar all the way through. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Really great storage underneath the bed. Woo. Love these baskets. I just love them. I like that. It looks like you got power and USB on. Uh, Get it on that side. Yeah. I think there's power on both sides. Are there? There should be. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes. It's yes. Down here. Yes. Yes. I and knew there USB. was a. I knew there was a sticker up there that said there was. And USB and right power there. right there too. Yes. And your heat vent is going to be in the floor up here. Okay, I'll get out of the closet now. So, if you like the rear living, but you get recliners instead of a theater seat. So, hey, tell us how you feel about that option. All right, everybody. Uh, 
I'm fixing to give you the sale price as on their website right now. For this unit. For this particular unit. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to be since this video is going to be out. So the sale price on this 325RL Salem Hemisphere is $57,995. It's not a bad wow. price. On That's this, a really on this good unit. Really good price. So if you like this Salem, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Follow along with us and give us a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody.